on the bird in 10 minutes. Exclusive, they're going to take us inside. Oliver Stone's movie, JFK, has all of America asking, what is hidden in the secret assassination files? Now, for the first time anywhere, government documents reveal information locked away for decades. An Inside Edition exclusive. Inside the secret JFK files, the government didn't want you to see. He was convicted of a brutal attack on a young co-ed. But after the trial, he just walked out and began the life of a fugitive. I wasn't going to go to jail for something I didn't do. He spent 12 years looking over his shoulder for this man, the Texas cop who... I figured it didn't in a gunfight. The real-life story of the TV movie A Fugitive Among Us. Swift is in. Chicago, we're coming to you first. Audio check, one, two. Then to L.A. For centuries, people have searched for a way to increase their sexual appetite with aphrodisiacs. Today, Mother Nature's answer to how you can improve your sex life. Stand by. Hello, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching Inside Edition today. We have a very special broadcast for you, including the story of a man convicted of attempted murder who avoided the law for 12 years. An incredible tale. But first up today, an Inside Edition exclusive, Inside the Sealed JFK Assassination Files. From 1976 to 78, an investigation into the murder of President John F. Kennedy was conducted by a committee from the House of Representatives. The investigation concluded that JFK was probably assassinated as a result of a conspiracy which involved at least two gunmen. The files of that investigation were then sealed and locked away until the year 2029. Well, Inside Edition has seen some of those files that were sealed for 50 years, and there are some explosive elements. It was a coup d'etat, a calculated plan coup d'etat. President Kennedy was killed as a result of a conspiracy. As he, as he was waving back, he was, he was, the shot rang out and he slumped down in the seat. Lee Harvey Oswald with the gun in the window and firing it. There was a scene of mass confusion, of course. Trauma room one was filled with people. I've not been charged with that. President Johnson said, I never believed Oswald did this so long. He's been shot. He's been shot. Oswald died in 107. I know that Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone gunman who killed President Kennedy and Officer Tippett. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy was the crime of the century, a dramatic moment in history. In a few seconds, America was changed forever. Today, polls show the vast majority of Americans believe the assassination was a conspiracy, and that the official story that Lee Harvey Oswald was a lone crazed assassin is a lie. Although it is part fact and part fiction, the Oliver Stone movie JFK has fuel belief in a conspiracy and powerful voices, including those in the Kennedy family, are now demanding the release of the secret files on JFK. Inside Edition has gained access to some of the most explosive secret JFK files and is now able to report exclusively on their contents. The Select Committee on Assassinations will at this time come to order. The most damaging sealed documents of the House Select Committee on Assassinations accuse high-ranking officials of the Central Intelligence Agency of lying to the people of the United States about Lee Harvey Oswald. House investigators believe this man, David Atlee Phillips, met with Oswald two months before the assassination. Phillips was the CIA's chief of Western Hemisphere operations and was in charge, among other things, of plots against Fidel Castro. According to the secret reports, Antonio Viciana, a leader of anti-Castro Cubans directed by the CIA, saw Oswald talking to a senior CIA agent he knew by the cover name Maurice Bishop. 
Viziana provided enough information for house investigators to compile this sketch of the agent who met Oswald. Could it have been Phillips? Investigators believe it was. Phillips denied under oath that he knew Oswald, but house investigators did not believe him and wanted him charged with perjury. The government declined to prosecute, leaving investigators furious. The director of the CIA in 1963 was John McCone. He caused a sensation among committee staffers when he admitted there was an agent using the cover name Bishop. But a secret memo reveals he was allowed to reverse his testimony. A CIA lawyer wrote the committee, I should inform you that he had been in error. In summary, Mr. McCone withdraws his statements on this point. The man who fingered Maurice Bishop, Antonio Viciana, was shot in the head soon after testifying, but survived. Frightened, he will no longer talk about the case. But we caught up with him in Florida. They wounded me in the, in the head. He tried to kill me. You know why? Why would anybody? I don't know. Perhaps the FBI knows. The FBI knows. Did they tell you? No. Actually, actually. David Atlee Phillips died of cancer in 1988. Investigators believe Phillips was angry at JFK for botching the Cuban Bay of Pigs operation. Did you kill the president? The second explosive no, revelation in the that. sealed fact, documents also links yet. the CIA uh, directly to Oswald. The... While living in Dallas, Oswald was befriended by Russian-born George de Morenshield. Investigators determined he was a contract agent for the CIA in Central America and the Caribbean. In 1977, moments before he was to be interviewed by House investigators, De Morenchiel blew his brains out with a 20-gauge shotgun. House investigators believe he was a crucial link between the CIA and Lee Harvey Oswald. There is no question that the sealed JFK files are extremely embarrassing for the CIA. House investigators have told Inside Edition that the agency did not fully cooperate in their investigation and that the CIA had final say in the report that the House Assassinations Committee made public. Thus, the public report makes no mention of the CIA's links with Lee Harvey Oswald. But the secret documents are another story. Another bombshell in the secret files concludes that Lee Harvey Oswald had mentioned his plans to kill JFK to at least two other men several weeks before the assassination. In sworn testimony, a woman named Sylvia Odio, who was an active fundraiser for anti-Castro groups, said she received a visit from three men, one of whom was introduced as Leon Oswald. The next day, one of the other men told her Oswald thought that JFK should be killed. Now a grandmother, Sylvia Odio, says the incident has haunted her. She has never before faced the camera. Sylvia, are you absolutely positively certain it was Lee Harvey Oswald who came to your door two months before the assassination? I am absolutely convinced that it was. No doubt in your mind? No, no doubt at all. Sylvia, how did you feel when you saw a couple of months later that Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested for killing JFK? Both my sister Annie, who had opened the door originally, and myself were totally horrified. Um, we just started crying. Oswald was never alone. Oswald had people with him two months prior to the assassination. Sylvia Odio reluctantly told her story to the Warren Commission, but she was not believed. However, House investigators do believe her. They discovered Sylvia had told her story to a doctor before the assassination, and they examined his notes. The investigator's report in the secret files concludes Oswald told other people of his desire to kill President Kennedy. Are you afraid now telling us this story? Yes, really and truly. I don't want to be here today, and I don't want to tell you my story today. One interesting sidelight, the movie JFK was partially based on Jim Garrison's investigation in New Orleans. Well, House investigators uncovered evidence that the CIA planted nine agents inside the Garrison investigation to feed him false information and to report back to Langley on what Garrison was finding out. Much more to come as Inside Edition moves along today. A fugitive wanted for attempted murder eludes police for 12 years. I just didn't care anymore. I figured if they get me, they get me. You know, I've got nothing to lose now. So I took it upon myself to, to uh, be uh, Miller's self-appointed uh, hunter. I 
I want to show you why my Dirt Devil is the world's best.